Three, two, one. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. So today we're going to be talking about... Whoa. With the heart so true. Yes. Yes. We're going to be talking about Pokemon today, everybody, because Pokemon (laughs) had Pokemon Day. Pokemon Day. It just took place. (laughs) Pokemon Day celebrates the franchise's original launch on February 27th, 1996. Can y'all believe... Pokemon came out in 1996. I was six years old, man. man. I was a a wee lad. Yeah, we were all wee little lads. Um, So on Pokemon Day, they usually announce, like, here's what's coming out with Pokemon Company and all that good stuff, you know? And uh, in this, they had several different announcements. But one thing I want to kind of center this conversation about is that there was they had an opportunity here because they've been there's been a lot of complaints around Pokemon Company over the years of like, People are losing interest in the Pokemon that they know and love. They haven't been able to innovate their games. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet came out most recently, and it was like buggy, buggy and slow, and the graphics like weren't shit. very good. And it got some decent reviews, but people said overall it just didn't perform well. And then they had Pokemon Arceus come out. That was the most interesting update they've had in a while. But like, I mean, I think we kind of all fell off of it and didn't. You didn't play it, right, Jason? Oh, fuck. Yeah, man. Austin, dude, you fell off of it, didn't you? Pokemon Arceus? <laughs> that face it tells you everything. I don't even remember that game. Did you play it? I don't I did. I okay. Did. I fucking don't even remember. Shit. So so both of those games, and even what was interesting, I was listening to somebody else talk about this, and that Pokemon Arceus had some really good ideas that even Scarlet and Violet that came out after didn't include. Yeah. So it's like they weren't like carrying over like good ideas in the new game. So there's been a lot of disparity in like Pokemon over the years, and like people were like, we need bigger and better stuff. And you're not really delivering on it. You're just kind of rehashing the same old stuff over and over again. And I feel like they had an opportunity here, especially with the recent success of Power World um, blowing up and basically a lot of people saying it's a Pokemon clone and Pokemon needs to respond to this, that, whatever. But there's no denying the fact that they sold more copies of Power World in like less than two months than Scarlet and Violet did in a year. That is that's insane. huge. Yeah, that's crazy. It's huge. And it still has a very strong, like I think 300,000, 275,000 people are playing it on average, maybe even more. 30 day average. Yeah, 256,000 people in the last 24 hours. So it had a peak of like 2.1 million players, which is insane. But like people are still playing it really regularly. It's definitely dropped off, but like they're still actively playing it. So all that to be said, like I feel like Pokemon and Game Freak and Nintendo missed a huge opportunity here. Now, knowing that they couldn't respond to anything in the last you know, two months well, since yeah, Power that, World came that, out, yeah. that can't happen. But get us excited about the future and what's coming from Pokemon. They could have done something with some kind of like teaser of like, hey, this is in the works, or like, they hey, did. we hear... They did. They needed to, Man, and we didn't. had no idea what they're doing. <laughs> it and looks they awful. didn't, it looks and that's amazing. what sucks. Maybe. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so the big game that they did announce here was Pokemon ZA, Pokemon Legend ZA, set in Lumio City, launching worldwide in 2025. But what did y'all gather from this trailer? Uh, yep. <laughs> Fucking nothing. Like absolutely. We're nothing. in the animus. Uh, in, that's like, what I was wondering. <laughs> so that's like, it. That that trailer gave us nothing, and I feel like, and I was talking to Austin about it because we just watched it. I feel like it's just the same shit. It's going to be the same thing we had in the last one. Well, it's even more ambiguous than anything we've seen prior to this. Like yeah, we true. have no idea where true. we're going with it. Yeah, like yeah. is this a park that's going to open? I don't know. Is it going to be like is it online? digital VR? I I don't know. It's going to release simultaneously. I don't know exactly. Oh, well, that's the thing. There's it literally it nothing. Release like release to everyone at the same time so i might well it's always going to release at the same time for everyone but my assumption is it's going to be an online experience <clears throat> and that's where i think they're going to change from this it's going to be like an online open city for everyone to it's run it's going to be a social pokemon hub that you yes, can get that's online what I'm, that's what i'm and thinking they're it. going for but i highly doubt it yeah yeah it's probably gonna be <clears throat> a complete opposite of what we're going yeah. go for yeah i mean there's some mention because like pokemon <clears throat> legends arceus was like old school like the early days yep. foundation of pokemon right and this one looks like it's almost like in a futuristic kind of vibe i mean granted they had it like they're building the city and it was like ultron like or whatever mm-hmm. i don't think that's what's going to be but it seems like it might be a more modern take on something yeah. um which could be good but i don't know 
I just I, I feel like there wasn't anything here to tell me like this is this is our response to like the future of Pokemon and it's gonna be grand. Yeah. And it's gonna be exciting. And then the other the next biggest thing that they announced <laughs> there was the uh Pokemon Pocket, which is <laughs> The uh, they got a little too late in the NFT game. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> That's what that was. digital. We but the good release. thing is, it's not NFTs because you don't own it all. Okay, well, so like it's even NF- better. NFTs, we own you own them. And you we're know? Happy. Yeah, <laughs> so you get to open two packs a day at no cost, and Pokemon you can buy cards. more. Their Pokemon cards are digital. Okay, so like rather than going to buy physical cards, now you can just pull out your app and just collect cards. Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing else you do with them other than collecting. You do more, you do more with them. You can. Wait, are you, you can, serious? Yeah, you can, don't even battle. So with, no, you can battle. You oh, can okay, battle. okay, sorry. Okay. So with this Pokemon trading game, uh, Game Pocket, you can actually collect cards. Like Brett said, you get two free a day, and then you can also battle other people, and then you can also trade the cards. So that's what we got from the trailer. I don't know if there's anything else, but I think it's a little ridiculous to collect digital cards because once again that's why I reference back to NFTs and I think they're a little late in the game for NFTs and this was their remnants of that mm. aspect of NFTs. Yeah. That's my opinion. I see that. that. I see you that. see what I'm saying? Could be. Yeah. They were just a little late on the game because they got <laughs> so many Pokemon to go through, you know? But yeah. So. Yeah. But you can battle, you can trade, but it's back down to the standard. <clears throat> I don't know if a lot of... Did y'all battle with your pokey cards at all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So it's back, back to the it's back to the standard building your deck and battling with each other, but on a mobile phone. Lame. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, lame. I mean, it's not for me. Oops. I don't know slam who's going to play it. I guess slam Kids. it. I don't Gen know. Z. You guys played the fucking uh, Marvel Snap, so y'all might get this. And be like, oh, this is the greatest thing, and then like a month later, be like, oh, man, we're not. I'm not. I'm not going back to Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> not after what we had experienced. To be honest, I thought about collecting Pokemon cards again. No. Oh. I don't know why. I, I mean, it was kind of fun. Well, physical? It's physical? Physical, sure, yeah. yeah Go for no, it. No, hey, physical. I'm all about it. I'm yeah, all about no, it. I thought about it again. After remember, our conversation I had, about it. a holographic Charizard. I <sighs> Dude, I had a uh, holographic Blastoise thrown on my locker in fourth grade. No shit. <laughs> yeah, I had so a holographic uh, Charizard and an uh, Alakazam. Ooh. I love the Alakazam because it was like purple and it was like, yeah. So Gen 2. I went to this uh, comic book store with my grandma. And she's like, I'll get you anything you want for your birthday. And I was like, okay. And I saw the Gen 2 starter Pokemon. All evolutions started to ev- evolve, fully yeah. evolved in like this, um, you know, card holder because there's six of them total in Japanese. Mm. All holographic. Yeah. Oh. I was like, I want that. <laughs> She bought me that, and I was oh, like, "Oh shit!" I, I was the happiest kid ever. <laughs> that shit was awesome. I still that have them. Awesome. They're great, dude. Like yeah, dude. The original. Well, I don't know how original they were, but or what you know. I'm sure they weren't first edition, but yeah, getting that was awesome yeah. back in the day. Do you still have? Do you still have <laughs> some do your Pokemon it. cards? You said or no? Don't do it. Do you still have some of your Pokemon cards or no? I don't know. They yeah. might be in storage or somewhere because like. I don't think I gave those away, but I think my mom might have threw them away. Oh, which is upsetting. That's so even worse. I can, like go through like old stuff and see if I can find it. It would be holographic Charizard, dude. I love that card. Oh, yeah, that is my favorite one. Besides the Alakazam, because that was my hands down favorite po- Pokemon. I, I might have to get digging into my stuff and say yeah. some of these. It'd be kind of cool to get together and just like go through all of our collections and stuff. Yeah, and see dude. what we have. I have a binder somewhere in one of my boxes that I got to pull out. That's got like couple hundred of I them think, in there. I don't know what I did with mine. Yeah. I think I sold them. They're probably a the garage sale, too. I didn't too. even know what I was doing when I was collecting them. I, I just didn't thought know they were cool. Yeah, here's exactly. A, here's a crazy yeah. story. Um, I used to go to my grandma's house when my mom had to work, and uh, there was a kid there, and so we're both in Pokemon cards. And yeah. I, was like, I was like, hey, let's do this. I'll put up my best Pokemon card, and you put up your best Pokemon card. He was a little younger than I was, so he didn't really know what he's doing. And I was like, if I oh, win, motherfucker, he's like, I keep your card. <laughs> if you win, you keep my card. I forgot what he had, but I took his card. <laughs> yeah, you were like, I know how to play this game. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Or you were changing the rules on him as you were playing. <laughs> I, remember, I was like, no, 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 yeah. I remember at YMCA camp, one guy showed me his card, and it had Misty on it with uh, the star Pokemon. Star oh, yeah. You? Oh, yeah. Star, you. star you, and it showed side boob with her holding it up. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. Dude, that, that was makes the greatest sense. card in the world. I was just like, what? That's side See? And, and, po- <laughs> and, and this freaking, holographic. Yo, this a freaking graphic. Pokemon Pocket, they could go and change that shit in a I matter know, of minutes, know. you know? Some bullshit, man. 
It'll be Mr. Or it won't be Misty. Yeah. yeah. Be some, yeah. some dude with side boobs. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so beyond that, though, like the only other updates that came out from this uh, this Pokemon Day was uh, this is a great update. They here. added uh, new raid battles to Scarlet and Violet. Pokemon Go includes a uh, new series of theme content. Pokemon Sleep gets a new character. A bunch of stuff just got new characters added into the existing game. So like, ultimately, though, there was like such a strong like opportunity here to just get us excited about something. But it didn't, and it didn't. And even ZA, like I, I, I feel like there should have been more of an announcement there <laughs> to get us hyped about what this game is going to be beyond just like here's like a the clone theme trailer, you know, like oh yeah. Give us some insight into what that is. I don't and it's think just, they know what it is. They might not. I mean, it comes out next year, so I hope they figure it out soon. You know, <laughs> but it's just it's, it's unfortunate. Power World of steroids. I mean, uh, blah, blah, blah. yeah, not Power World. But uh, the real question, though, f- for you guys, is like, I mean, do you think that can? I mean, Pokemon is still huge. Like, it's still a massive media empire. Oh, yeah. But like, do you think it's ever going to? reach kind of back to peaks or do you think they're ever going to bring something out that's like global success again or is it kind of on a downhill i mean everything is on a downhill like how many more like playstation just fired a bunch of people i I feel like yeah that was so creators across the board across all of industry like even you know movies and tv shows like it's just they've been sucking hard like giving it they're all to suck as hard as they can (laughs) Like a vacuum. <laughs> what an interesting yes. choice of words. Yes. Yeah. Well, this it's just nothing good. Like the like what the Violet and what was the other one? Scarlet, 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 Scarlet and Violet, Violet coming out and being that bad. Like what? 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 That's not really Nintendo. It's the, I feel it's like the main moment. They're, they see Pokemon. And they're like, <clears throat> yeah. I gotta get it. Like I don't know who's in charge of these assets of these companies, but they're just like our properties. They're just like it's just yeah. Branding people story. will people will buy what we give them. They will. That's and they did. And they, they did. did. Build it and they will come. Yep. I, I, but I think there is a breaking point for a lot of people. Like they just well, stop it is going. They have competition and like with that's them good. coming out with this new game. Yes, that's great. I love competition. I don't That's I what don't, they need. Yeah, and I think this new game A and Z is not going to Z Day. Z Day? Z A. That's weird. Z to A. Z to A. I don't think it's going to be anything compared to their competition at the moment. So it, no, it's yeah, I agree. Just be shit until I agree. The next game after this, Power World's still killing it, and who knows what Power World Two is going to be like? Yeah, they're going to have Gen Two pals. <laughs> yeah, people are going to start. Hey, you have, I'm sure you have more younger kids getting into Power World than you do Pokemon right now. It's possible, and that is going to be devastating. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you give them guns, you know, <laughs> they're going to go to town. <laughs> the, the reason they gave. They put guns in the game. It's just for the American audience. And look where it got them. I know. <laughs> it, it works. Know. Guns work. Yeah. Yeah. It's so so crazy. Give Pikachu a pistol. Come on. <laughs> be like that game squirrel with a gun that's just come out. Yeah. Pikachu went around with a big ass gun in front of him. I'm crazy. telling you, that's going to be a hit when it comes out. <laughs> yeah. It will. It will indeed. But yeah. I, they, they really did. They, they missed their opportunity to be like, guys, we got some good stuff. We got a lot of good things happening. We got to, we're pushing mm-hmm. forward. Yeah. We're going to give you an open world Pokemon game. Mm-hmm. Because if that was their trailer for an open world Pokemon game, they got me. I didn't. I didn't see that. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I feel like at this point I'm kind of probably moving on from Pokemon. I love the franchise. I love the media content around it, but I don't think <clears> I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna give them any money until they like bring out a good game. Like I thought about getting Scarlet and Violet just to play it because I did hear it could be good. Yeah. I liked that there was like a co-op aspect into it, but knowing how much it performed poorly, I'm like, I don't want to waste my time. Media, with that, right? You know? They fixed it, right? They, they changed it, right? No. It's better now, right? It's no. better. <laughs> no. It's better. Oh, no. They didn't even update it. it. They're like, it's so <laughs> shitty. We don't even. They're going to bring out a re release whenever the Switch 2 comes out. And they'll be like, Remastered. now it's great. Now, now it's, it's good. in four. Come back to us. <laughs> now it's in 280p. <laughs> yeah, right? Because they don't, they, don't, they don't increase. Yeah, the 280p resolution. at 60 frames per second. <laughs> yeah. But if you want 1080p, uh, it's going to be 25. 16 bit. Damn it. Come on, people. Yep. Don't you like it? Um, so yeah, Pokemon presents y'all. It's uh, it's coming gone. Pokemon Day, utter failure. Here it is, twelve yeah, minutes yes. long and not a lot of hype. But Power World exists. 